Hello, my friends. You're here with Mrs. Hyde. We are going to talk about closed syllables. So our vowels can make two sounds. They can make a short vowel sound or a long vowel sound. Let's do the short vowel sounds first. Here we go. A says a. E says e. I says i. O says a. And U says a. Now, our vowels can also make a long sound. That's when it says its name. A, when it's a long sound, A says A, E says E, I says I, O says O, and U says U. Now, I want us to focus on the short vowel sound, the um, A, E, I, A, A sounds. When we read um, a word, when we read a syllable, every syllable must have a vowel. Now I'm going to put a consonant behind it. Now I have a word, at, at. Um, and it doesn't matter if there's anything in front or not. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is behind it. So I find my vowel. I look behind it. If there's a consonant there, it's blocking in the vowel, making it closed and making it use this short vowel sound. All right, what if I put this behind it? Now, this is not a real word, but it is a syllable. It's got a vowel in it. What is this going to say? Ack, ack. I still have the short A because it's a closed syllable. There's our bell. All right, let's do another one. I'm going to change out my vowel sound. If I have an E here, it's got a consonant behind it. Ack. Ek. All right. What about short I? And let me change the ending. What does this say? Ig. I have the short I sound because I've got a consonant behind it closing it in. Ig. All right. Here's my O, but I've got to use the short vowel sound because it's got a consonant behind it. Og. All right. Let's change the consonant. Now, what does it say? Op. All right, what's this word? Up. I still have a short vowel sound. I find my vowel, I look behind it. It's got a consonant, so that's a closed syllable. 